Hey there, folks. Swan Grover from Ron's Beard and Tools. Uh, it's back from uh, well, earlier, actually, from uh, East Hardware Store. The helpful place, they say. So what you're seeing is the bag. I got a shot, small tool haul, but I figured I'll uh, show it. Uh, as I like showing the beers and the new tools I get. So this is the bag, and I'll be showing you what I, what I picked up and purchased for tools. As you can see, this is the first thing I picked up. I've been needing these for a while. They're basically um, for a couple of my uh, small uh, saws. One of them being my my big jigsaw. I've been needing these for a while. There's eight pieces in there. Dewalt Dewalt makes some good blades, and I've been needing them for a number of things for the wood or the plastics I've been cutting. Or even the metal, and they're all in here. They got this nice holder in here. I don't know if you can see it in this yellow, but this will hold them all. And uh, you just throw them in there. You grab your, your jigsaw or the saw, and uh, take them outside, and uh, you're on your way. But this will be nice. It's a nice addition to my tools that I'll have. I'm sitting here now, uh, having a beer. With my uh, Craftsman uh, <laughs> bottle opener. Uh, I've had this for a while and I never even used it. It was hanging on my workbench and uh, it's got a little holder for it. It's, uh, I got this a while ago. It's, a, it's actually a bottle opener and uh, tool companies make them. So I know we drink our beer because here's what I'm drinking right now. This is a Jack's Abbey Blood Orange Wheat. They call it Rattler. That Rattler in German means a cyclist. How it started many years ago from the cyclist. Want a beer, but not a full beer, so they could continue cycling. So they got it mixed with juices, and this is mixed with blood orange, and that's what I'm having right now. All right, so let's go on with the tool. Oh, like I said, it's small. And uh, the next thing is I picked up these Craftsman wrenches. Uh, these are nice. Uh, the reason that it, I'm saying that is because if you can see right here, this has these. I don't know if uh, the camera is pick up. Right in here, there's these little rubber, black rubber pieces. You just, yep, see them? Yeah. See those black rubber pieces? And what they do is, as you pull, they act like a ratcheting effect on these here. Uh, see if we can um, get this camera right here. See this imitation nut here? You, put, you, you even have an arrow on the tool itself. These are all metric. I had some uh, SAE standard and uh, I wanted the uh, the metric. And this arrow tells you which way to use this. And this rubber will grab the nut. Now listen. Actually like a ratcheting effect. I don't know if you can hear it or not. Because it's holding it. If you go the other way it just slips slips because it's hold, made to bind onto it. And it'll hold the, the nut as I'm tightening. It. It'll literally help hold it. And um, it'll hold it in place. Because that rubber is that type of rubber that is stickiest. You can see see the black on it. I bought one of these. I think it was a 12 meter close to uh, I think it's the, the half inch. I used it quite a bit. And I liked them. These tools actually do have the ratcheting on the bottom. All these uh, wrenches have the ratcheting. So it's really uh, ratcheting in the box end, but they come up with something to be like ratcheting in the, in the open end of the wrench. And that rubber really binds on. Uh, I can see in the picture here, it really, really holds on to the point where you can leave your wrench there and it'll bind because the weight of it causes the rubber to like bind to it temporarily. And um, on the backs of these, it has the arrow going the other way. You can see the arrow's going that way and then you turn it this way. And, oh, <laughs> basically on and off, basically, is what they're saying. So this bay is a dual ratchet and wrench. Um, those open uh, end pots are like making it ratcheting. Uh, so, but anyways, that's another thing that I uh, picked up, which uh, 
I've been wanting uh, something like that that the, somebody had made, double ratchet and I like that. And the uh, final thing I picked up was uh, for my drill press. Uh, I have drills for my all my hand drills. Is Irwin. I like their drills, particularly like uh, you know with the wood and the steel and some PVC. Again, th these are fine. Uh, nice little set, little comps. I do have a Dewalt. I have a couple of Dewalt, so I'm missing a lot of them. Uh, and I've uh, tried to sharpen them and so forth. And uh, but they're not sharp at all. And I just need the new new drill bits. And uh, this goes from one sixteenth up to three eighths. So you get a good little set. And the price was right. Fifteen pieces in here. And the price was this was at Ace Hardware now. And uh, these three items. I picked up for a good price. I don't have the, the receipt with me right now to show you what uh, the price was. But, uh, excuse me, I get a throat's a little dry. I need some beer. Mm. Mm. That is good. That is delicious. Ah. It's uh, I like a shandy. Uh, orange, orange juice and beer. But anyways, this is the tool haul. These, I'm going to enjoy. That, I do know. Uh, makes work on vehicles and around the house. And a number of things that you're working with. Particularly on the box end and opening wrenches. A lot easier when you have ratcheted ends on both both ends. The ratchet in there. And the ratchet in on the open part. So, with that said, folks. Uh, happy tooling. Enjoy the day. It's kind of cold here in New England today. It's about 43, 44 degrees. Very windy. Had a lot of rain last night. So I hope where you are, it's nice and warm. And you enjoy the day. Going to drink? Drink responsibly. Enjoy tooling. Ciao.